வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் பயோமெக்கானிக்கல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஜான்ஸ் ஆஃப் த அப்பர் லிம்ப் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி வி ஹவ் பின் சால்விங் சம் சிம்பிள் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் தி ஸ்டாட்டிக் எக்லிபிரியம் ஆஃப் எல்போ ஜாயிண்ட் so in this video we'll be looking at uh, biomechanical analysis of elbow joint uh, problem in static equilibrium here is a simple problem a person is holding a ball or uh, some weight okay that is 10 kg and uh, is holding it at some angle such that this angle is 55 degrees it's not holding it at you know the forearm parallel to the floor but rather like this at some angle the an angle of 55 degrees the mass of the forearm is given to be 2 kg that is acting at a distance of uh, 150 mm from the axis of rotation o along the forearm okay along the forearm now the question is uh, determine the reaction force at the elbow joint the reaction force is here and the tension in the biceps muscle okay so that the moment about o is zero that means that the whole uh, joint is in static equilibrium find the tension t in the muscle also what's given let me erase uh, my own writing what's given is that the perpendicular distance between the line of action of force for the muscle and the joint is 50 mm okay this is what is given now as is usual let us uh, try to analyze this using our uh, back of the envelope uh, approach remember that uh, this time i may not be very accurate and i know that i may not be very accurate why do i know this how do i know this because in earlier problems the angles were simpler and rather easy for me to make assumptions in this this angle is 55 degrees and i do not know how, I, i don't seem to have a very clear intuitive understanding of what this could do that is okay i have always told that the idea of this back of the envelope approach is not to give you an accurate answer the idea is to give you an idea the idea is to give you some sense of um, the scale in which the answer is going to be is it going to be hundreds of newtons or is it going to be thousands of newtons or is it going to be tens of newtons this is where the idea is so let's try uh, this um the muscle is attaching at 50 mm and uh, the perpendicular distance between the load and the joint is 150 mm note that this is the distance that matters okay the perpendicular distance between the line of action of force and the joint axis of rotation is what matters so that's about 150 mm so so this is 10 kg let's say this is 100 newtons so i'm going to have about 300 newtons in the vicinity of that somewhere but uh, somehow i'm not comfortable with uh, that but i do know that it's going to be in the hundreds of newtons range that i'm somewhat confident about because uh, you know because there is uh, there are 350s in 150 i'm not even counting this uh, 2 kg load i must count for this right so i know that at least the answer is anywhere in the hundreds of newton range okay with that in mind let us uh, try to proceed with the problem this is uh, a rough free body diagram of the situation so the forearm free body diagram is given this angle is given to be 55 degrees okay um this is the joint o and uh, 
an unknown muscle tension T is acting here. I do not know the value of this force, but what I do know is that this distance is 50 mm. All the dimensions are in mm. When I am drawing, all the dimensions are in mm. Okay. This is 50 mm. What I also know is at a distance of 150 mm along the forearm, not in the x y axis. This is the x y axis I am going to assume. At a distance of 150 mm along the forearm, at that distance, the mass of the forearm is acting and that is having the weight 2.9.81. Sorry, 2 times 9.81. Okay. Now, and uh, 10 times 9.81 weight is acting at a perpendicular distance of 150 mm, whereas here this distance is 150 mm, it is a slight difference. just realize that uh, this distance cannot be 150 mm because if the distance along the forearm is 150 mm for the perpendicular distance to also be for 150 mm you know you need to have a different angle. So, I just rechecked uh, this is not 150 mm, but rather 330 mm please note this change. Okay. The perpendicular distance between the external load and the joint of rotation is 330 mm. Okay. So, this is this distance is 330 mm remember this. Okay. Okay. Now, what is asked? What is asked is the unknown tension in the muscle and the joint reactions of the elbow. So, I have to do sigma f x 0 sigma f y 0 sigma m is equal to 0. But I would start as usual with the moment equation because it is likely that I will have only single equation in single unknown. So, I can solve for the mm, tension T straight away. However, before we proceed, um, I thought mm, uh, somehow this uh, distance 150 mm is along the the distance where the mass of the forearm is acting is along the forearm, but uh, I am interested in finding that distance that is perpendicular to the line of action of force. The line of action of force is acting here like this. The perpendicular distance is that is not that is the perpendicular distance. So, I want to know what is this this is the moment arm of interest for me. Well, the moment arm is also a vector I can resolve for this that is actually then using principles of you know trigonometry I could simply write this out as r is equal to 150 times sin 55. Okay. Now, I can write out the equation. Remember when you are writing out the moment arm, you will have to write it out as 150 times sin 55. You could of course, solve uh, this by resolving the force along the bar, but then that is uh, slightly confusing for beginners. So, let us resolve the moment arm along the x axis, okay. because uh, the uh, distance that we know is inclined to both x and y axis and I am interested in finding the distance along the y x axis. Why is that? Because the mass of the forearm is acting along the negative y axis. So, I am interested in finding the perpendicular distance which is the distance along the x axis. So, I am interested in finding this r and that r is 150 times sin 55. Now, I can write the moment equation as 
sigma m equal to 0 counter clockwise considered positive ok. That is the equation I can write this as uh, I start with uh, the tension T that tension T is a positive moment because it is going to cause a counter clockwise moment ok and it is having the perpendicular distance in this case the perpendicular distance itself is given. So, that is actually 50 mm 50 by 1000 or 0 0.05 ok minus because this 2 kg is going to cause a clockwise moment which is a negative moment minus 150 sin 55 divided by 1000 remember this 150 sin 55 is the perpendicular distance this distance that distance this is 150 sin 55 ok. That is the distance times the force is it not 2 into 9.81 let us not forget the 9.81 ok minus because the 10 kg is also going, going to cause a clockwise moment. So, it is minus 10 into 9.81 into 330 by 1000. In this case the distance is perpendicular. So, that is fine only for the case of the mass of the forearm the distance is given along the forearm then you will have to resolve it along the x axis because this weight is acting along the y axis and you are interested in finding the perpendicular distance. Remember this perpendicular distance is always dropped. So, this is the perpendicular that is dropped on the line of action of force and the joint axis ok. Line of action of force is where the perpendicular acts. Uh, any other force that is there? Answer is no. So, I am writing this as equal to 0. So, after all this analysis I find uh, the answer as so, uh, this is one equation in single variable after some algebra or my request is for you to try and simplify this. You will find the value of T as 695.67 Newtons. Essentially take all the terms that does not have T to the right hand side and then uh, take the 50 by 1000 to the right hand side then you will essentially get uh, this answer 695.67. Our uh, back of the envelope calculation gave me an answer in the hundreds of Newton's range I said 300 Newton, but uh, I was also quite uh, you know uncomfortable with that answer I said no that is not exactly likely to be true, but I am somewhat confident that the answer is going to be in the vicinity of hundreds of Newton somewhere in the hundreds of Newton's range it is not going to be 1000 of new, Newton's and it is not going to be tens of Newton's it is going to be in the hundreds. So, that way I at least have some this is not the way to verify this solution I am aware of that, but many times I see students who write the answer as 69 newtons or 6000 newtons somewhere along the way there is a simple numerical mistake and because you will use this T to find the reaction force and the reaction force will then be wrong and I cannot give points for that this is uh, I mean something that I have picked up by looking at students answer sheets over the last 10 years of teaching engineering mechanics. So, uh, you need to have an intuitive sense of uh, where your answer is I mean that is something that no one can give you that is something that only you can develop yourself you can learn yourself. So, you need to uh, work on this uh, and build this uh, intuitive uh, understanding of this solution this is uh, something that is not given to you no course can teach you this a lot of practice can teach you this ok. 
then we are interested in finding these uh, the reaction forces O x and O y. I am interested in finding O x sigma f x equal to 0 right side going is considered positive, but uh, there are no forces that are acting along the x axis all forces are acting along the y axis. So, that means that the reaction force O x is 0 there is no reaction force along the x axis. Then what about O y that we can find by saying sigma f y equal to 0 ok. So, O y is along the positive y axis T is along the positive y axis and uh, then you have minus 2 times 9.81 along the negative y axis minus 10 times 9.81. So, then O y is you know take all the uh, all these terms to the right hand side and uh, use your scientific calculator to simplify this you will find the value of O y as minus 577.95 newtons. What does this mean? A reaction force is negative in the direction shown that means that reaction force is actually positive in the opposite direction that means that it is 577.95 newtons in that direction that is going down along the negative y axis. Along the negative y axis the magnitude is 577.95 newtons along the positive y axis the magnitude is minus 577.95 newtons or this force is acting along the negative y axis that is what we learn from this. So, with this uh, we come to the end of this uh, video on solving some simple problems in statics of the elbow joint. Thank you very much for your attention.